flight was canceled. So we had to get our bags. And now we don't know what we're doing. We're just waiting. Okay, we're not allowed to go outside yet. What in the world? It's like an apartment. We just asked for a room for a night. I guess this is what they had, huh? Yeah. So now we don't fly out till tomorrow morning, hopefully. Hopefully. If the winds are not right, you can't land an airplane at the St. Martin Airport because the runway is so short and the way that they come in, like it's dangerous. So our flight couldn't even be land here. So not just us got canceled, but the people coming into St. Martin, they went to St. Croix instead and then had to be diverted back to Miami. So they're having a real bad start to their vacation. Yeah. So we're hopefully just delayed by one day because this is not what we had planned. We're actually right next door to where we were staying. We're just at another place just so we can get, we gotta get some food. Been at the airport all day long. No. Yeah, there's mosquitoes. Why well, are there mosquitoes here? We didn't know mosquitoes. Literally no mosquitoes the whole week and now tonight. And we're right next door. It's wild that there's yeah. mosquitoes here. And they're like bad. Yeah. They attacked me. I get stuck in my head with plans that I have. Like I already have, I already had my whole, you know, plan to drive home and then, and then work on getting Priscilla's Facebook back up. And you know, she lost her Facebook if you don't know. Um, someone took her Facebook. So, which in turn, they basically, this is unrelated to YouTube. Probably. It's not the same country. It's also in Europe, but not the same country. But anyway, they uh, took her Facebook, so they kicked me off as admin on our other pages. So we have to get all that secure, but there's not much we can do from a foreign country because they require, it's you know, you need to use your IP address that you normally log into so that they know it's you. And I have to do that from home. But anyway, we were, I had all these plans set up, and I don't do well when my plans change drastically like that. Like, it, it bothers me a lot, so... Gonna get some good food. Yep. Some good rest. Try it again. Yeah, we have to be there early. Yeah, we do. So. I want steak. Let's go to that place somebody recommended. Okay, what do I have to, I probably have to put on a shirt with a collar, huh? Back at the airport. Yeah. Hopefully this is the one. We're getting on a plane. Despite being delayed on our flight, missing the kids so much and all that, we had the worst news of the trip. I have no Oh, jury and duty. losing Facebook also. Still, the worst news of the trip. <laughs> Priscilla, Priscilla's jury duty has ended. She doesn't even get to do jury duty. Uh, what do you mean it's ended? It hasn't even begun. Somebody asked about it in the comments, so I <laughs> She was supposed to call when she got back, and she doesn't get jury duty now. Such a bummer. We're in Miami. Only five and a half hours from home. Well, we gotta th go through customs first. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you? Are you tired? Did you party too much with your friends while we were gone? I think you did. Did you party? Yeah, look at your eyes. What? You wanna go for a ride today? We we'll probably go for a ride. <gasps> later though. Later. Is, is later okay? <sighs> I need a big old hug. Mm. Mm. I missed you. Oh, it's good to be home. You smell good. Your hair smells really good. Did you miss us? Hey, did you miss us? Oh, that's nice. I'm glad. <laughs> you want breakfast? No, not right now. You want to wait a little bit? Do you want to wait a little? Okay. I missed you so very much. We found a cool place for you to go. Yeah. We decided that um, since it's only a two hour flight from Miami, that we could, that Abby could definitely do St. Martin. She would love it there. It's so what we love about it is we feel super safe in St. Martin. You don't always feel that level of security in, uh, in other places, you know, and then St. Martin super safe. It's called the friendly Island. So everybody's very nice, but there's lots of stuff that you would love there. 
You would love the ocean there. There's lots of good food. We always know you're down for some good food. Nala, don't rub your mouth on, on my phone. But I just, I don't know. I don't know what it was about it where, like, Abby would love this. I feel like it's the beaches and the water and, yeah. you know, it's just slow-paced. And, but there's a lot to do there. Yeah. You know, we could rent the side-by-sides and ride around. She would love that. That's yeah, they do have. Car. Yeah, we rented a car, but you can rent side-by-sides and uh, drive around the island. All right. We'll go we'll go for a ride a little later. That'd be fun. I need to go to Lowe's and do you want to go shopping later? Do you? Yeah. I'll give you that. Do you need breakfast first? Are you saying yes? You're not putting much effort into it. <laughs> oh, I missed you. I did. I miss you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hey. so glad that you had a great week and you were good for everyone. Was your was your brother a pain in the butt? Hey, <laughs> be honest. Look at me. Was your brother a pain in the butt? He was. Yeah. <laughs> he was. Did you still have fun with him though? You're not gonna answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave this conversation because I don't want to. I don't want to tell a lie. So we have a whole team. I did see a couple people that probably haven't been around very long. They don't. They don't know. We have a a whole team when Priscilla and I go out of town. Um, four to five people that rotate through and hang out with Abigail, um, do her caregiving as well as just hanging out with her. You know, when we're gone. So I have a whole schedule that I go through. Yep, Priscilla prints out a schedule for everyone um, that's got, you know, day and time of when they're on versus, you know, with their schedule, um, when they can uh, provide caregiving for Abigail. So, yeah, you know, it's a whole system. Make sure our, our girl is taken care of. And then we have redundancies as well in case someone has an issue. We always have Nanny for backup. Nanny's always our backup. Like, if anything goes wrong, if someone has to work late, if someone has to go in early, we have Nanny on standby, so... The dogs missed us so much, didn't you? Well, you miss mom more than anybody, but me a little. Me a little. Look at this. Look at this. We got eggs from the quail. Look at this tomato popping off over here. I don't. This overachiever. This stuff isn't doing anything. This guy's doing kind of okay. A little bit of progress on that one. What do we got over here? Holy moly, Scylla. This is like four days. I planted these when we left. Yes. So that's that's romaine. And this is and this is cucumbers. Holy cow, if you don't have this seed starter kit yet, these were from seeds. And this is like this is literally four days. These things are going nuts though. Okay. Yeah, those need to get we're gonna have lots of cukes. Yeah, that's insane isn't it and i just left them outside i didn't even hook them up with the lights they have grow lights and everything if you don't have this seed starter kit yet you need it i'll link it down in the video description if you want to if you want to start some grow from seeds instead of seedlings that's wild isn't it yeah. check these guys are doing well as well i put the, pull the tops off of these so they could get they get stronger if they're in the breeze so those guys are ready to have the tops taken off. I'm, I think it was like seven days. Those are the ones that me and Abby planted just recently. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe seven days, something like that. That's wild, though. Yeah, we did a video on that. So I'll get her to help me transplant those to, um, to the planter. I'm going to build like a trellis situation for the cucumbers. They have somewhere to go because they're going to go crazy as they usually do. I almost said my favorite thing about coming home, but that would have been super rude. Um, it's not my favorite thing, but it's, it's, it rates in the top 10 is uh, drinking my own coffee. That's... <laughs> right? Ugh. I look tired, huh? Well, Look at the bags under my eyes. Yeah, it was a long day. I finally got, I was up till 4 a.m. too. I actually got on the phone with somebody from Facebook. This is crazy. I'm like, are you sure this is legit? Positive. Isn't that wild? 
Yeah. I the deep dive that I did last night. I came home last night and I and my computer was still on the Fathering Autism Facebook page. Um, I was like, oh, you know, because I don't have access to it right now. So then I just like I was like, I gotta do something. It's difficult to do things in a foreign country because you're not from your, you're not, look, you're not at your IP address, so it looks like suspicious activity already. So I wanted to wait till we got home, but because um, if you don't know, if you didn't get it from the beginning of this video, our Facebook was taken over by some Priscilla's Facebook was taken over by somebody else, so we don't have access to Father and Autism, more Moss, Lipstick Mama, and Pots Pans Priscilla. So, but yeah, I actually got on the phone with Facebook support last night, which is wild. Which is crazy to me. They can't just look at it and go, yeah, that's wild activity that happened on your page. Here's your page back. Like, it still has to go through a whole like, what process. Yeah. 24, 48 hours. They're going to hopefully, you know, they're like, if it's more complicated, it could take longer. No real concrete information. But she helped me send a report to the right place. That's good. Yeah. Four reports, actually, for all four pages. Re uh we feed the sourdough. Yeah, sourdough is gonna get started again. I didn't. I didn't put that on Isaiah's plate for responsibilities feeding sourdough. I was like, you know, you just else. just make sure all everything else is fed and and you're good. It's good, right? It's so good. I love that you came to tell us that you needed help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we had a bloody nose. Mm -hmm. And Abby's like, this is more than I can handle myself. So she came in and told us. And it was very good that she told us. It was. Mm. I'm so proud of you. Go a long way with that. Yeah. Mm. She came in. Mm. She's had blood on her. She's like, oh, guys. Mm. This is... You came in and she had paper towels on. Yeah. There was paper towels on the counter here that she had gotten. Here, let me help you. Let me help you. I'm still bleeding a little bit. I'm getting it. Let me see. Let me see it. Look at me. Would you tolerate some ice? Could we do that? Help slow down the flow? Why don't you sit right there for me? A little bit of ice. As long as we can stand it. Okay, come back for more. Come back for more. Okay, ready? Ready? Ten, nine, eight. Come back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Abby, you might not have acted super excited when you saw us, but Nala really missed us. <laughs> She's meowing and following us around. I know. So sometimes we get, you know, the reactions to us coming home are just kind of meh. I think we surprise her too. Like she woke, it's always when we wake her up in the morning and we're all of a sudden home. She's like, she's like what what's happened? going on? Yeah. She's very confused. So you don't get the, you know, that reaction that you're kind of looking for, you know, you know, she's my buddy, you know, I want her to be excited. But when we come home, when she's awake is different. So, you know, just don't, don't, don't think, don't invest too much into, you know, looking for a good reaction, I guess. But Okay, we're not climbing on my desk, no. You can you can stay up here and well that's a position. Now the other problem is is that we're kind of exhausted because we drove till late and uh we were up late and she just wants to go and do all the things. So we're gonna have to go do things. She'll get super antsy. We'll find something to do, huh? Are we gonna go to dinner? Yeah. We're gonna go to dinner. We don't have any groceries, so we're just gonna take the family out to dinner. <laughs> it's not dinner time yet. Don't get yeah, excited. I'm for Easter time. Yeah. Oh, cat butt on video. Put that down. Okay, Nala. I'm I'm over it. You're getting hair all up around my face, like in my beard. Hop down. <sighs> Hold on. B before you go, I wanted to show you because I posted this, but you might have not seen it. This is a large chicken egg from my mom's chickens. And this is a quail egg. So that's the size difference. Um, if you, maybe if you had like four, I think. I have three right now. It looks like I have one hen laying, but 
if they have maybe four, four quail eggs would equal one chicken egg, something like that. Aren't they the cutest thing ever? I love the, the, the cow spots on them too. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Okay. We're excited to be home. Come hang out with the fam. We got chores to do. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.